Hey guys, it's CodeZealot, and I've got another tutorial for you on the scoreboard command in Minecraft 1.13. Now, we're going to break this one up just like we did the execute. We're going to do several videos on this one command because there's an awful lot to it. So today, we're going to look at the very basics of making a scoreboard objective and also talking about how we can display that objective on the screen. So let's go ahead and start the tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm not going to jump in by talking about what the scoreboard actually is. And that's because it's more of an abstract concept than we're used to dealing with here in these tutorials. We will get around to that, but I'm going to save that for a couple videos in on the scoreboard command after we've essentially gotten used to the syntax and used to the concept of what it is by actually doing it. I think this is one of those things that's easier just to learn by doing. So I'm not going to bore you with complicated conversations about what scoreboard is. I'm going to show you how to use it first. First, and then we'll sort of get that understanding of what it actually is by definition later on. So let's go ahead and type out the scoreboard command and get used to it. So once we type scoreboard, we're given two different options. We're only going to look at the first one today, which is objectives. And basically the first thing we're going to run is scoreboard objectives list. And what this does is it essentially says, here are all the objectives that you have on your Minecraft world. Well, if you haven't used this before, you're going to get this message. There are no objectives because you haven't added any to the scoreboard. So let's go ahead and add our first objective. So we're going to do scoreboard objectives add. And then here is the most important part of this video. This is what we're here to learn today. Basically, there are three different things we have to fill in here. The first one is the technical name of our objective. This is the name that Minecraft is going to recognize this objective by. The second thing is the criteria. This is essentially what kind of value we are going to be storing in this variable, in this objective on our scoreboard. And there are many different options there. Today we're only going to look at one, which is called dummy. And basically what the dummy criteria is, is it's a blank variable that allows us to store basically any number, any integer that we want to in it. And lastly, we have display name. And what display name is, is it is the human readable version of our name. Basically, when we display this objective anywhere on the screen, we want to use this display name that is easy for us to read and know what it is. And so those are the three different options we're going to input now into this command. So let's go ahead and make our very first objective. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and call it money because a lot of you guys are interested in all of the videos I've done on currency systems uh, on the multiplayer server I was working on there. And so we're going to go ahead and look at this sort of as a spoiler for how this works, but it's not going to be completely in depth. So you have to stick around for that tutorial another time. So we're going to do money and we're using, as we said, the criteria of dummy. Next, we're going to go ahead and give it the human readable display name, which we can just list as money. Now, you'll notice that this is red, and it says that it's invalid chat component, and that's because this is what is called a string, and so we need to put quotes around it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and press enter to add our very first objective to the scoreboard. So there we go, we have created a new objective with the name of money. Now, what can we do with this objective? Well, first thing we should do is we should go ahead and talk about this list command one more time. Because remember, we used this already and it said there were no objectives. But now that we've added one when we run this, we see that there is actually one objective on our Minecraft world called money. Now, now that we can list this, why don't we go ahead and set it somewhere on our screen so it'll be easier to work with. So let's go ahead and do set display. And what this is going to do is it's going to set our objective somewhere on our screen. And there are many different options here, but basically there are three main options. The first is below name. The second is list, and the last one is sidebar. We're going to go ahead and just look at sidebar today because this isn't a lot to look at. So let's just do sidebar and then the name of our objective. Now you'll notice that I didn't use the capital M because that was the display name of our objective. I'm using that first, that first bit of information we gave the command, the technical name, which is just simply money. Okay, so now it says set display slot sidebar to show objective money. But if you look, there's actually nothing on the screen. So did it mess up? Is something wrong? Well, the answer is actually no, nothing's wrong. There just actually is not any information saved 
for that objective, and so the scoreboard has nothing to display. In other words, the objective is currently null. There is nothing there. So we need to actually give it a value so it can display a value. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type out scoreboard objectives. I'm sorry, actually we're switching this. We're scoreboard players. And then we're going to set it for ourselves for the objective money to zero. Now don't worry about all of this because we're going to look at the players options later. I'm just doing this to set the display for us here. So there we go, guys. Basically, we now have an objective on the scoreboard with the criteria of dummy. We have the display name listed here as money with a capital M, and we have the value of zero for the player CodeZillit. So we're going to go ahead and end this video here, and in the next video, we're going to start manipulating this number with various different commands to see how we can use this, this variable, this scoreboard objective, to essentially store values that we can use in all our Minecraft world. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do and hit the bell icon so you can get all of the notifications whenever I upload a video to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video on the scoreboard command in Minecraft 1.13.